I've been playing Skyblock since it came out, and I have over 500 Skyblock guides on my channel. So today, we're going to be going over some random tips and tricks with no particular topic for how to become a pro in Hypixel Skyblock. If you end up finding this useful or just want to support me, please like the video like right now. It helps out so much. Also, subscribe to my channel since we're almost at 50,000. I know most of you aren't subscribed and you're not gonna, but I mean, it would be nice. So if you want to help me out, do that. Let's get into some tips for you all. The first one is to not fight dragons, or at least not place your own summoning eyes. It's extremely addictive to drop 15, 20, 30 million coins on some summoning eyes, placing them and fighting dragons, but inevitably, you're gonna lose coins almost every single time. I can probably say I've safely lost about 100 million to dragons, and I probably do wish I never fought as many as I did, but just kind of a general rule of thumb is try not to fight your own dragons, and if you have to, make sure you're gonna win, but I would strongly recommend just, just, just leave dragons alone, let other people spawn them, and then fight them if you want, but for the most part, just leave dragons alone, try not to touch them, they're a huge money sink, and they will just steal all of your net worth up. The next tip I have is over in the community center, go over to the account and profile upgrades and max every single one of these out. There are a couple free ones that you can max all the way up, like accessory bag, some of the sack of sacks upgrades, all of magic find, bizarre flipping, coin allowance, and minion slots. I would recommend starting with your minion slots first, and then go over to magic find, sack of sacks, coin allowance, and bizarre flipping. Minion slots are the most important one because obviously you want to have as many minion slots as possible. And this is where we get into the next tip I have. Obviously, next up is to have as many minion slots as possible. Currently, you can get up to 29 minion slots as the maximum cap. Right now, I have 24, which means I can get 5 more. A strong recommendation is Snow Minion Tier 11. Get yourself an enchanted lava bucket, some diamond spreading, and super compactors. You know the drill. But nonetheless, get as many minion slots as possible. You can unlock new minion slots through the community center upgrades or crafting unique minions. Every roughly 25 more unique minion levels you craft, you'll be able to get another minion slot. Once you get up to the 20s though, it takes around 50 unique minions in order to get a new slot, so be prepared to spend a lot of money if you're going to get all 29 slots. Next up, and this is a huge, huge one, is to get yourself a Flower of Truth. This weapon is just absolutely crazy. It's extremely versatile. You can use it for long-range weapons with a little right-click. It shows a little flower and it throws it towards enemies and it hits up to three of them. It does actually home in on enemies if you land a first hit. It also has really, really good left click damage on enemies, and it has an incredible amount of strength. This weapon has the highest base strength in the game, which means you can combine it with a baby yeti pet in order to get a lot of defense, or you can combine it with your standard dragon pet if you want to multiply the strong amount of strength it gives to make your damage even higher. Obviously, I'm not saying this is the strongest weapon for damage in the game, but it's definitely the most versatile for its cost. So if you're looking to get a new weapon and you're stuck between the Livid Dagger or Giant Sword phase, pick yourself up a Flower of Truth. You won't regret it. Are you dying a lot in dungeons? Does everything just absolutely destroy you? Well, pick yourself up a Baby Yeti Pet, as it will give you one defense for every single strength you have at level 100. This pet is super good for tanking, so check this out. If I have all of my strength stuff, right now I currently have 864 defense. But if I go ahead and slap on the Baby Yeti Pet, we shoot up to 2600 defense. Isn't that just absolutely unbelievable? I mean, you're basically invincible with this pet if you have a Flower of Truth, which is why I so strongly recommend pairing these two if you're having a hard time surviving in Skyblock. Do you want to one-shot Slayers or the Endstone Protector boss in the end? Just pick yourself up a maxed out Bone Meringue. With the Spiritual Reforge, you can recombobulate it if you have the coins, but make sure it has Overload 5 and try and get Soul Eater 5. It's slightly better than Swarm 5, but of course, I ran out of coins and this is just a Bone Meringue I have for now. But Soul Eater 5 will pretty much let you one-shot anything in the game right now, except, you know, except like actual dungeon bosses. But for anything uh, outside of dungeons, it'll basically let you one-shot it. This is how people always steal the uh, Endstone Protector boss in like half a second, is they throw a Bone Meringue at it and it basically one-shots it. Next up is to have a clean Ender Chest. I can't stress enough how life-changing this was to actually go through and clean out my Ender Chest and fill it with color-coded backpacks. You can pick up some greater and medium backpacks, for pretty, pretty cheap in the auction house. And if you want to organize mine just like how it is, uh, just feel free to copy my design. It's pretty cool. Uh, I use the last row for uh, souls right here, which is kind of fun. But uh, just organize your uh, ender chest. Like right here, this is all of my slayer items. These are all of my dungeon items. These are my personal items. These are some talismans I have. And just basically organizing your backpack will make the game so much easier. You'll forget items less and you'll remember where you put things. 
Uh, here's a tip about sniping auctions. For example, I were to type in superior dragon and quickly go to, where is this, lowest price. Occasionally, you'll see a mispriced item. For example, 510,000 coins on this one. Or if we were to search um, of truth for the flower of truth sword, we can go to weapons, lowest price, and sometimes you might see one for 890,000. Just in case someone forgets a zero or something, it could be the difference of making you 10 million coins with the snap of a finger. Always keep an ornate or florid zombie sword on you at all times, and if you have a mouse that has side buttons, try setting a side button to the sword. In this case, if you have low health, you could quickly switch to the sword and heal up really, really fast. Just remember that there is now a timer on this sword, meaning it has five ticks, so you can only use it five times, and then the sword will actually get a cooldown, so be careful when you use this. Basically, use it as a burst heal to fully heal yourself back to health once every minute or two. You know what's more annoying than stereo pants? The Jerry Snowball Blasters when people throw them at your face. That's very annoying. This is another big one. Always prioritize getting your talismans, even over new armor or swords. This is because talismans are forever. You're never going to want to delete talismans or switch between different ones. You're going to want to have as many as possible. If you have spare money and are endgame, I would say go ahead and try and recombobulate some of your talismans. I was fortunate enough to get enough money to be able to forge all of mine and recombobulate them, and it's been the best thing I've ever done. So before you go and shell out on 100 millions of coins for armor or a weapon, try and get your talismans up first, as you'll always be switching between armor and swords, but you'll never ever be switching between talismans. Here's a tip for the new guys. Punching weed in the hub will make you over 100,000 coins every single hour. That's right, 100,000 coins every single hour, punching wheat on a day one old account. It's kind of crazy, and it'll pretty much jumpstart you to early slash mid game. And the last one is to don't be lazy, get your skill average up, go punch wheat, go break cobblestone, go fight zombies, punch trees, and fish, all of that good stuff. It really, really does make a huge difference for your stats. That's all I have for you today. I know it was a little bit different, but if you enjoyed these random tips and want to see more, leave a like on the video. If we hit a certain amount of likes, I don't know what. Uh, share this video with your friends too if you want me to do this again. But yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked, uh, subscribe. Please subscribe. Just subscribe. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying subscribe until you do it. So you, you might as well just just press it. H have you done it yet? Have you subscribed? No. Uh, I, I don't blame you either. J j all right. Have a good day. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.